Mm. Amazing. Look at that. That is so good. How can you not love sunchokes? Today I'm making a creamy Jerusalem artichoke soup. I love Jerusalem artichokes, and if you've never had them, then a soup is a great first way to try them. I get these from our guy at the farmer's market, so I can get more of these. I wish we grew them here. It's not difficult because a Jerusalem artichoke is in the sunflower family, and so it grows into a big bushy like shrub with little sunflowers at the top and then when they're gone and the tree is finished for the season and about right now you dig up the roots and you see all these bulbs so these are actually the bulb of a certain kind of sunflower plant and they're kind of also called a poor man's artichoke because they taste very much like an artichoke but they're not and they're so good many ways. I'm gonna do another recipe for you guys where I roast them, but I can't wait to show you the soup because it's so delicious. So first thing I wanna do, I'm gonna add a little olive oil to this one because I want the flavor of it. I'm gonna get that heating up. So we're just gonna put a little in there. And then I've washed these really well. They were pretty clean when I got them. Some people peel them and it'll make the soup a little bit more white, but I really don't care. There's nutrients in the skin and they're nice and clean. So most important is that you just chop them in chunks. You can see that a Jerusalem artichoke is much more like a potato. It's very white and it's got the skin and the taste is like a little bit between an artichoke and a potato. Since both the carrots and the onions are hard vegetables, I'm gonna go ahead and add them now because they all need to soften before we add our liquid and our seasonings. Actually, I used a shallot, not an onion, a great big shallot from the farmer's market. It was this big and I used the whole thing. And we're gonna be making this soup creamy, so I'm using soy milk, but use whatever milk you have. And I'm gonna add some cashews to it because I wanna make it extra creamy. And then I've got some garden herbs, some thyme, oregano, some chives and some bay leaves. As a matter of fact, we're gonna put those bay leaves in there right now. This is a great recipe to use really fresh ingredients because it's like it came right off the farm and out of your garden. So I'm gonna add some dried herbs, some thyme and some celery salt. And then at the end, I'm gonna put some lemon zest in there and mix it with some of my fresh herbs at the very end. But just salt, pepper, celery salt, and a bit of thyme. I always like the addition of fresh herbs if you got them. Okay, I think it's a good time to add some seasoning. So let's first put some salt. Pepper. To your liking celery salt, thyme. Wow, that's smelling so good now. Mmm, I'm gonna start chopping up my herbs. Let's stir them around. At this point, one way to test it is just to stick your knife in one of the sun chokes. So as you can see, see it's very much like a potato and it's quite soft. Definitely not done, but so good. Mm. Let's try a carrot. See, you can hear it still has a little crunch. Getting there. They don't need to cook all the way through in this stage. They're gonna finish cooking 
when they're boiling in the soup. But it's just good to give them a head start and get them nice and soft and they're almost there. Okay, I'm gonna add our cashews. I've soaked these. You can soak them overnight or you can just soak them in boiling water if you don't have enough time to do it overnight. And let's add our soy milk. So at this point, we have a couple choices regarding the rest of the liquid that goes in the soup. Either we can keep adding more soy milk because the cashews in there are gonna add a nice creaminess to the soup in addition to the soy milk, or we can add some veggie broth and some more soy milk. And I brought my veggie broth out because I'm probably gonna do a little bit of that, but I always have to go more by taste, so we'll see. Look how creamy that's looking. So delicious. I'm gonna put a little veggie broth in right now. Mmm, that's getting really good. Now it has that buttery, creamy rich because of the cashews and that olive oil that's been in there and the creamy soy milk, it's really good. And I for sure can tell we're gonna need a little more liquid still. So I'm gonna do a little more soy milk. Add a little more veggie broth. That's looking about the right consistency. Okay, at this point, I'd like to blend it up with my immersion blender. You can also put it into your Vitamix or Blendtec and just blend it that way. That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna put in our fresh herbs and our lemon zest. Okay, so let me plate it up, clean up, and then we'll do the taste test. And I garnished it with a little bit of lemon zest and my herbs. And I can't wait to eat this whole bowl. Mmm, that is so good. Those fresh herbs, you guys, you've got to do that. If you don't have fresh herbs, at least do a little lemon zest. That really adds a nice little acidic flavor to it. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Mmm. Mmm. One of the reasons I love to use my immersion blender rather than, say, my blender, I do both. But when I want the soup smooth, but maybe just like a little bit of texture, then I do my immersion blender because I have better control over that when I want it really pureed than I would use my blender. But this is so good with the fresh thyme and the lemon zest, not only in the soup, but sprinkled on top. Oh my God. Mmm. Wow. What a great way to eat Jerusalem artichokes. You know, they're also called sun chokes because they come from the sunflower. But this is such a great way to enjoy them. So delicious. And they're so flavorful. And oh my God, they make that rich, earthy taste, kind of like the artichoke. And when you add it with this other stuff, the cashews and the herbs, it's so good. Mm, mm, mm. Fantastic. I can't stop eating it. It's so good. It's really that good. When you can't stop eating your bowl of soup, you know that it's good. And it's soup season because it's fall season. And this is the perfect soup for fall. I love this soup. Mm, mm, mm. Approved. And you guys, I just want to say, as always, thank you so much for subscribing and watching this video. I so appreciate each and every one of you. Try it. You won't regret it. Creamy Jerusalem artichoke soup. It's the best.